Now state-funded colleges and universities are banning TikTok altogether after Florida's Board of Governors announced new requirements for schools. So if you're a student or a staff member using campus Wi-Fi, you'll no longer be able to access the social media app. But Florida isn't the only state putting these restrictions into place. In fact, in recent weeks, the U.S. government, along with the U.K., Australia, and even NATO, have banned TikTok from being used on government-issued devices. It all has to do with concerns from lawmakers about safety and security on the app, including questions about whether the Chinese company is allowing the government to access our data. For students on college campuses that we spoke to, they say it could be a big change. No. Oh, no, so it won't go past the first video. Yeah. Joining us from Florida Gulf Coast University is Fox reporter Colton Chavez. Colton, I know you've been speaking with students on campus. What are people saying about this tonight? Well, sorry, let's just talk about the popularity of just the cell phone. Everybody walking around campus today looks like this, head down, buried in their screen. And they say, yeah, TikTok is a popular app, and this is going to be something that students across campus are going to start to take notice of. <laughs> Hard times for the popular video hosting app TikTok. Florida Board of Governors sending out this email to students at Florida Gulf Coast University, ultimately banning the app on campuses across the state and here in Southwest Florida. For the Eagles. I mean, I just think it's kind of dumb. I was actually a little surprised yeah. that, yeah, it was a little random. I mean, to be honest, it's not really a big deal. Most people can kind of get around it. So this is how this whole thing breaks down. If it's on a university owned device, you can't get on TikTok. Or, if you're on your personal device, but on the university's Wi-Fi, you can't get on that way either. Oh yeah, and then when I do it again, it just, it just like doesn't even show up. And won't show up. Oh, wow. Florida Board of Governors telling students through email the ban is due to an increase in cyber threats against the state's universities. Does this really stop anybody from using it on campus? No, like, <laughs> <laughs> like especially people that like cellular. Oh yeah, forgot about that one. Students on campus who can access the internet using cellular data can still use the app freely. They could use VPNs, they could use data. Mm -hmm. It's a popular app. If people want it, they'll find a way to use it. Now, the ban went into effect earlier this week, but it also names a few other apps as well. TikTok, obviously, being the most popular one. But if you want to take a look at that list, I have it live on our website right now, fox4now.com. Live from FGCU's campus, Colton Chavez, Fox 4.